Hey, and welcome to Cooking with Uncle Sly. Today, we're actually doing neck bones, pork neck bones. It's something that you can actually do with pork. If you're not into pork and you more like turkey, there's smoked turkey necks, there's uh, smoked turkey legs. You can use any one of those meats and any smoked meat that tastes really, really good. A really great dish that you can serve over rice. It's really good. You, we're going to make a gravy and I'll show you how to do that. I'm simply going to start by putting vegetable oil in the base of the pot. Let that get nice and hot. As that start to heat up, I'm going to go ahead and grab my smoked um, pork neck bones. Um, like I said, again, you can use any kind of that you want on a later video. I can show you how to do this with tofu. Also a great dish in case you want to um, go completely vegan with it. I had some already in the freezer. One of those things that I personally keep in the freezer or keep around. I love them. When your grease is nice and hot, just go ahead and stir those right on in. You're simply, they're already cooked, they're smoked. What you're basically doing is heating them, tenderizing them, kind of bringing them up to temp before you add your seasoning. This is a good point where if you are using fresh seasoning, such as garlic, bell peppers, onions, celery, also known as the Holy Trinity. Go ahead and do that now. Or if you're from New England and you're using a season cloth, like your carrots, your onions, your celery, get time to throw that in right there. And you wanna make sure that you saute that until it's translucent. I just did this on a whim. Didn't have any fresh seasoning, so I'm actually going with dried seasonings and powders. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my flour in because like we said, we're going to make a gravy with this. And the best way to do a gravy is start off with making a roux. So I'll seal that bag right back on up, put it away because I tend to buy 25 pound bags of flour. So I kind of separate it out into Ziploc bags in case you're wondering. You'll see I do that a lot. Um, it's a lot cheaper if you have like a restaurant depot um, in your area to get the 25 um, pound bag or even at Walmart now they have 25 bags of Walmart uh, flour. So just go ahead and stir that in and you can stir it in the same pot. You don't have to take them out. Mix it all in. Next. Yeah, it's kind of hot. So um, let me get a towel. Get it all stirred in. You'll see that it kind of coats the neck bones as well as the pot. Once it does that, we're going to go ahead and build what we, um, with our chicken broth and start to make a small roux. Now, once you have all your flour in, go ahead and put your seasonings in, your, your dried seasonings. Um... With your dry seasonings, I like salt, obviously. Pepper, one of my favorite things to do. Cayenne pepper, I love a little heat. Um, I like cumin. Sorry for the door, you'll still be able to see the seasonings there. Chili powder. I'm Southern, I use a lot of seasonings. So feel free just to look and see all the seasonings that I like to use. Paprika, smoked paprika, 
a little celery salt, parsley flakes. I actually use beef broth as well. Uh, beef broth concentrate actually to add a little more flavor there. And soy sauce, just a little. You see it start to brown, that's totally fine. And you can let that get a little dark if you like. Um, I personally like mine to be on the lighter, lighter side, more of a beige. Um, it doesn't need to get that dark, but if you want yours to be a little darker, that's totally fine. It's not going to damage your flavor or anything such as that. But once you have everything based there, now you're gonna add in your chicken broth. And in chef terms, what we call this is deglazing. So you'll see the chicken broth. I like low sodium because I want to control my salt. And once you get the chicken broth in, you want to go ahead and just begin to stir. And stirring it is actually going to start creating that roux. You're gonna stir the flour and the, your fats and everything mixed in there with your seasoning. Get that all nice and stir it up. And you wanna to continue to stir and you'll see that it'll reconstitute and kind of thicken itself. You wanna keep your fire on a medium heat. And as you see, it's gonna to start to thicken. You're gonna add water to that and that's going to start to thin out. After you add your water, you wanna make sure you taste it Reseason as needed. Then you're gonna put it on a low simmer and honestly set it and forget it. Put a top on it and let it cook down. Because you want it to cook down to the point where those next bones kind of start falling off the bone nice and tender, nice and simple.
when you get towards the end of those neck bones kind of simmering down, I go ahead and start on my rice. I personally like rice with black beans. You can do any kind of um, rice dish you like. Some people use yellow rice. Some people just use brown rice. Some people use rice and beans, rice and gondolas. Either way, I pair that with cream corn. Any style you like. Absolutely delicious meal. Please, if you like this video, I have more videos coming. I will be live on October 2nd, 2022, doing shrimp and grits. So please subscribe to our channel, Cooking with Uncle Sly. Like us on TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. We're also on Instagram at Uncle Sly. So TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. You can find us all there. Cooking with Uncle Sly. Thank you for joining in. Can't wait to see you again.